Hi Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Live 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do uh, your reading, Where Do We Stand? Uh, please know that this reading um, will be about somebody that you know, okay? Someone you have a connection with, so it could be somebody in a relationship, whatever your circumstance, even if you are in separation with this person. Uh, but definitely there is somebody here that you are thinking about. Uh, also, I want to let you know there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. Uh, lastly, I'm just going to mention that I am giving away one free personal reading each month. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, you just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment. I will announce the winner the first week of every month. So with that, Aries, let's get started here. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the current energies here for Aries and their person? What's the current energies? Okay, so we start off here with that Eight of Wands. We got the Nine of Wands. We have the King of Cups. And we have the Six of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Cups. All right. So what I'm getting here, uh, Aries, I feel like maybe you're feeling a bit frustrated here in the situation. Okay, we've got this Eight of Wands and we have the Nine of Wands here. So it almost feels to me, um, I almost feel like, you know, you're, I feel an energy from you, Aries, like you're, you're, you're protecting yourself, right? And you may even have your walls up here. And I feel like you may be waiting for some communication from this person. So I feel like there's not a whole lot of movement here in the situation, though the eight of wands can be movement here. But with this nine of wands here, I feel like there's an energy here, right? Feeling like you've been through a lot of challenges. This is the wounded warrior. Now, I feel like part of the challenge here with this King of Cups, I feel like you got somebody here with the King of Cups and the Six of Pentacles, somebody here who doesn't share a whole lot emotionally. So whether you're waiting for communication, some of you may be waiting for this person, right, to open up maybe a little bit more emotionally or just to express something, right, Some or, you know, to where there is more uh, give and take in the situation. You got the Three of Cups here, okay, so the current situation, I feel with that Three of Cups, I feel it would make you really happy if you were to receive some sort of communication where this person would just open up a little bit more than they are, okay, maybe around how they're feeling or just to express something um, is what I'm getting because I feel that you're not feeling like this person is sharing a whole lot. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's around their feelings or emotions. Maybe you're wanting them to just be more open in general with you. So let's see um, what this person is thinking about the relationship. What is this person thinking about the relationship here or the connection, right? Everybody's in different phase. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Magician. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and we have the Two of Wands. So what that shows me, Aries, is with the Seven of Wands here, okay, I picked up a guarded energy from you, Aries, so they may be feeling you're a bit guarded here. But I feel like this is someone who's not feeling like things are stable as what I, I felt here as well. I feel like this person is taking some time to really think about the situation and gain some clarity. They're trying to figure out what action they're going to take here with that magician. You also have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel, Aries, that... What they're feeling about the relationship, they're feeling like, you know, there's been some obstacles, right? There's been some challenges. And they're really trying to de decide here, right, what action they're, they're going to take or what they're going to manifest here. And it does feel like it's 
emotional too, right? That they need to express something. Maybe they need to say something. Uh, maybe they need to express how they feel in the situation. But right now your person's taking time to themselves is what I'm seeing here. You do have the Nine of Pentacles. So I will say that um, this shows me they do want to do something to try and make things more balanced, you know, make things more secure and stable than where they are right now. And I feel like this person too could be very focused on their money and their career right now. You have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this shows me that they're still attached to you, right? They, they're, they're still very much so interested. They're thinking about the future. Distance could be a factor between you and this person. So this could, for those of you, if you live at some sort of distance from this person, I feel like that could be part of um, some sort of decision here that they are making. But I feel like they're really trying to envision, right, where things are going. I feel like this person right now is just taking some time to themselves to really think about things, okay? Because I do feel, uh, I feel like they know that maybe you're frustrated or um, about the situation or that you have your walls up here. Let's see how you're feeling about the situation. How is Aries feeling about the situation? Queen of Swords, I didn't I say it? Your walls are up here. <laughs> the Queen of Swords, right? The Queen of Swords is open to communication, but they got their sword up, right? Protecting their heart. Okay, so I feel, you know, there may be, there are certain standards I feel that maybe you have, right, with this person. And that might be why your walls are up right now. And I feel like you're open to communication here, but this is, you're in that energy. You're not going to let somebody take advantage of you is the energy that I see there. Okay. And it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. We have judgment. I'm just going to pull the rest of the cards. We have the queen of cups and we have the page of cups. Okay. So how you're feeling about the relationship. Okay. I feel like there's love here, but I also feel like there's chaos here with this tower, maybe broken trust, uh, maybe feeling like something happened here and maybe it got out of control or it was something you weren't expecting, but you have the judgment card, so it does feel like maybe you're trying to make some sort of decision um, about the past. Okay, the judgment is also about forgiving and letting go. I'm going to say that as well. So it may be a, a, a situation where there was some sort of tower moment or this person maybe did you wrong in some sort of way and you're having a hard time letting go or forgiving here. Okay, so there may be forgiveness that's needed here in the situation. You also have here the Queen of Cups. Look at that. You got the King of Cups. So I almost feel like the two of you are manifesting each other here. There's definitely an energy of the two of you mirroring each other in some sort of way. I feel, I do feel there's a mutual love between the two of you. And then you also have here the Page of Cups. So I feel like you feel like this person is not giving a whole lot, right? Showing here with this page. And I'm going to say here too with that page, you may even feel like this person owes you some sort of apology. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pull the challenge of the connection or relationship. And then I'm going to put, pull the potential outcome of the situation. And then we'll get some guidance. So I don't feel like things are over um, right or I don't feel like... If you're, you know, maybe there's just some distance and there was no breakup. I don't feel like there's a breakup here, uh, but we'll see what the cards say. But I feel like there is potential. Okay, this person I feel is just taking time to themselves right now and really thinking about how to overcome what has happened in your situation, right? How can we get to a place of stability, security here? So let's see what the challenge is here in this connection. Okay, so we have the Empress. We have the Death card. Uh, strong Scorpio, strong Leo. I'm not, not Leo, Libra. <laughs> we have the Queen of Pentacles. 
and we have the five of pentacles okay and we have the four of wands so i feel with this empress energy aries <clears throat> there definitely needs to ch there needs to be a change okay i feel in order for things to work out this is your challenge here something needs to change right it's that transformational energy there's something that i feel happened in the past between you and this person and like I said, there may be forgiveness that is needed. So one, the challenge is you may need to give forgiveness to this person if they actually did something. And two, if this person did something that was not, that caused you to distrust this person, <clears throat> I would say, right, that needs to change. That behavior needs to change from your person. Now, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. And what's really nice with the Queen of Pentacles here, you have it on top of the Magician, the Queen of Cups, and the King of Cups. I read the cards not only, right, just because they're in a row, but what cards they're with. So <clears throat> I do feel that there is the, that in question here, right, is how do we get to a place of stability and security? Because you got the Five of Pentacles, Right, showing that things were out of balance here with the Six of Pentacles. This person, I'm going to say, maybe they were just um, acting, you know, as if this was a one sided relationship, right? They weren't giving you the support. Maybe they weren't valuing you. Maybe they didn't see your worth. And they weren't giving a whole lot, okay, with that page. So I feel that with this Four of Wands, right, in order for you and this person, to get to this place is that I feel like you need to see more support from this person. You need to, this person needs to maybe open up a little bit more and share more with you. And there's something that needs to change. Now, some of you, it's going to be forgiveness. Some of you, it's going to be, there's a behavior here from this person. There's some sort of new concept, new idea here with the Empress. There needs to be a rebirth here of this connection relationship, a new beginning, a transformation. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a little bit here. So let's see what the potential outcome is in the situation. We'll get some guidance and then we're going to go to <laughs> the extended cards are already popping out there. Now in the extended, I treat it as an almost personal reading where I dive deeper into your person, what they're thinking, their feeling their upcoming actions, their intentions, love notes, and guidance. So what's the potential outcome here for Aries and their person? Okay, we've got the Ten of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. Oh, boy. Yeah, the Moon card. And we have the Ace of Swords. Oh, right. The Loud and Clear Messages and the Eight of Cups. So what I see here, this is the potential. All right. You really want, right, you want things to change. You want... Um, I'm going to say a rebirth of this connection, right? You want to get to that Ten of Cups. You want to feel happy. You don't want to have to be going through hoops and hurdles and all that kind of stuff to be with someone, okay? You have the Death card and you have the Nine of Swords. But like I said, there needs to be a change, a transformation. So either this is something that has to do with the past. There is something here that your person needs to change, shift gears i don't know why i'm hearing that and um maybe some forgiveness as well because if this is what you can't get this off of your mind there's something here from the past right that happened i feel that you can't get your mind off of it right you can't it's almost like you can't let go of it so it may be this person lied i'm just gonna say some could be cheated um maybe this person it was a one-sided relationship and that needs to end. That needs to change, okay? And look at here. You got the Queen of Pentacles, right? We talked about that stability, that security here. And then you have the Moon card, the unknown, all right? So you're needing this person to open up more, to share more, to give more is what I'm seeing here because <clears throat> the unknown is causing you a lot of worry here, okay? And then you have the Five of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Swords. And this is where I said... This person is not giving a whole lot. They may even need to give you an apology. And what I feel with this Five of Swords and the Ace of Swords, 
<clears throat> excuse me, if you don't see a change, you don't see a transformation in this person, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. I don't feel like things are over, but I feel here, Aries, if you don't get, um, if you don't get honesty, truth, maybe even an apology here, right, and you don't get some clarity from this person, I feel you're going to walk away. That's what I see here. That's the potential here. If this person, I feel, is not open and honest with you, okay? Because the connection or the relationship here feels very unstable. And it has to do with your person putting in the work, being open and honest, maybe even expressing or sharing, right? Um, where things are going, maybe conversation, okay? That's the worry on your mind here. And, and there's a little part here for you, Aries, too, is forgiveness, right? If you can't forgive, right, then you may have to walk away is what it's showing me there. So let's um, pull some guidance cards here for you, Aries. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. So it will be really key to see what your person's actions and intentions are, which will be in the extended. So let's see what the guidance is here for you, Aries. What is the guidance here for you, Aries? The here and now. Community. And we have new life. All right. <clears throat> So, sorry, Aries, I have to keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> so you have the here and now here. So what that basically is telling you, Aries, that it's time to just try and stay in the present, okay? As I talked about this Nine of Swords, I feel like you're going to be thinking about this. There's something here about this, right? Wanting this to change, right? Wanting this person to put in that work, put in the effort, or whatever the the reason is here and i feel they're saying here stay in the current moment stay in the present because if you can do that that will take you out of that nine of swords energy so really focusing on the here the now maybe your work maybe your career maybe a hobby doing something that keeps you in the present and keeps you from thinking about the past or even having some specific fixed outcome for the future. That's number 32, which is five, right? And I'm gonna say with that, with the five there, if you can't stay in the present, right, it's gonna, it could cause conflict, okay? It definitely can cause some conflict. You have the uh, eight here, which is community. So, I'm gonna say with this community card, right, if there is something you can do to get support from other people, because obviously right now you're not getting support from this person, right, whether it's friends, you know, it could be counseling, it could be therapy, it could be spiritual guidance, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Maybe it's Reiki, uh, whatever you choose to do, okay? They're telling me here, right, there's, there's different possibilities of things that you can do okay, to get your mind off of this, to stay in the here and now. And then you also have your new life, all right? So it tells me that there's a new cycle here that's about to begin. There is going to be some changes here that are happening. So, you know, either, right, you're going to walk away or you and this person are going to be able to work things out. So we're going to see how it plays out in the extended. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.